I'm looking at the numbers from the annual police crime report for 2023. Mm. I'm also looking at numbers for the year 2022. Um, Gender-based violence still remains very high. 2023, 14,681 cases registered by the police. I'm wondering how many were not even reported. Um, out of those, you know, separately, you have um, 14,846 sexual offences. If you look uh, at a year earlier, there is a, 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 a significant drop, you would say, because uh, in 2022, you had 17,664 cases. Uh, that's 2020. Uh, 2022, 17,698. From where you sit as a minister, what do these numbers mean to you? I would first congratulate the duty bearers that uh, we acknowledge a drop. Although it is a small drop of 3,000, but at least there is a, a sign of improvement. But it's also disturbing that uh, the violence that occurs is more skewed to sexual violence. Mm. And uh, you understand when we talk about sexual violence, who is a victim? Major girls. First of all, we need to advocate. Many people do not know that even that Form 3, there is a Form 3. And the police Form 3. The police Form 3. Mm. They don't know that it's free of charge. Mm. Secondly, others are still stigmatized when they are raped to report. And some people think some kind of violence is normal. There are people whose traditions believe that if you are not a girl, a woman is not beaten at home. It's not, she's not loved enough. Mm. Fr from where you sit, uh, Honorable Minister, what explains the high rate of dysfunction of families? Uh, what explains the high rate of uh, separations or divorce? One of the things that can explain the high rate of divorce could be awareness. That some people now are aware about their rights and they will pursue them. Where others still uh, demand uh, uh, that you must be controlled. You know, th there are laws that we brought into our system that were really picked from the British way mm -hmm. and brought right to fit into our situation. We are Africans, we have our own values. But some of them may not necessarily be laws. Mm -hmm. They are ways of life. You can see the number of weddings that happen with big banquets, but the following day people are breaking down. Mm -hmm. The perception is there is too much expectations and people are not opening up clearly to show their status. When you want to marry or, not, or your colleague wants to marry, we are all going to contribute resources mm. and make something so marvelous. So the perception of this lady that is coming on, who also has also had a contribution from her family to make a magnificent uh, appearance, is not going to be the reality at their home. Mm. The situation is going to be very the different. The, the realities will, will begin manifesting immediately mm. as soon as you finish. People end up in two loans. Did you have to do anything to impress others before you impress yourselves? And some people do not want to believe. And others are pushing their, their children beyond the limits. You cannot marry into this family, you cannot marry the other one. Because, but it is love that is going to sustain these people. So if you are beginning to look for a status, if you are going to identify a, 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 a partner for your friend, or to position themselves into a marriage that is not yet being, and we make these big banquets, on the day we begin a marriage. I wish we were celebrating after like 20, 30 years. That, was a, that is our country being. After that trial has been, mm -hmm. then you'll be talking about success. Mm. So uh, celebration connotes success, and yet it is the beginning. Previously, in our culture way, you would be given certain things to start up your family. Mm. Of now, you start from scratch, from because zero. The understanding was that a man is going to provide. You are going to sit in a man's home and family. But now the dynamics require that you should have found a plot for yourselves. Mm -hmm. Maybe your husband does not have it, but this girl has it, perhaps. And now you are shifting your luggages to where she's staying because no, it is convenient. I'm, I'm not it sure, is, I'm, an, I'm it not, is not an anomaly. Yes, I'm not sure society is yet accepting of that. Now, when you fail to accept, when you fail to accept, and yet that is the reality on the ground, uh, is where that, the clash that, begins that, from. That Charles Mwangusha gets married to... Even if, as a minister, yes. if a Charles Mwangusha shifts to live with a minister, yes. then that's a problem. But the minister can shift and live with Charles Mwangusha where, wherever he is. And it does not become a problem. And it doesn't become a problem. Yes. yes. You, you know where you come from? They will say, eh, that man got married to, to the woman. 
Yes, but people should understand, not... should accept the dynamics now. You have uh, one of the biggest parliaments mm. world over. Yes. And yet, at a population of uh, about 45 million, mm. we are not the most populated country. What is unique about this society? But do you know Uganda has a, a bigger population to Canada? Canada is a developed country. Yes, it's a much, much as bigger it is. territory. Yes. Yes. So when you have population pressure, you have many issues that are administrative. What about countries like India? India also has a big, a big parliament. Of how many? For 1.4 billion people. Yes. Their parliament is not a uh, thousand people. And and you cannot say it is it is more democratic than Uganda. Mm -hmm. Do you know about the untouchables but in you, their parliament? You, you can you cannot excuse honestly mm -hmm. um, the high cost of public administration and say you can add a, a higher stipend upwards of uh, 30 million for cultural leaders as well. Actually, you're talking about 60. 60. 60 that is, million. is halfway. 60 million. 60 million per month. Per month. Not per not per not per year. And you We've been giving 60 million shillings per, per culture institution per year. Mm -hmm. Now we want to give 60 million 60 per month. Million shillings per month. Per month. Yes. And on top of that, you want to you buy... You have been into that administration you, you in, in the culture. You for the prime minister of the cultural institutions and cultural institutions... Are That's what the law provides. Members of parliament are getting their vehicles. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with the king getting a vehicle? And the prime minister And the prime vehicle. minister, yes, is managing... And an escort vehicle. Uh, he's managing a very big constituency. Uh. He, of course, there is such uh, and, attachments and we, to it. And we're managing a developing country? Yes, we're managing a developing country, mm. but we cannot forget our past. How many cultural institutions do you have on your role now? 14 gazetted now. 14 gazetted? Yes. How many are coming up? Uh, they're coming Those up, are, uh, could be around, the, around 15, 20, now that they come, the so money is coming in. So we might have about 30 plus it is, cultural It's not a guarantee that the coming up will come up. Let me have your last word. Yes, please. Mm. My last word, of course, would be to review the constitution. The Honorable Peace Regis Mutuzo, it's been a pleasure to have you on uh, NBS First Off. My pleasure being hosted by you, and I pray that uh, you call me again.